The lighting in the classrooms of a university can be connected many hours without any use. In classrooms newly created or reformed, it would be desirable to have an automatic shutdown. This video is a tutorial for engineers and installers to inform them of this system to be used in new projects. Operation System 1. The system must allow the ignition and manual off all lights. 2. Automatically, the system will turn off all the lights. After a period of inactivity in the classroom, 3. The light is switched by the mechanisms of class and never for presence detection. 4. A classroom is a place of public assembly, and lighting must be distributed in at least three circuits, and power failure in one of them will not prevent the ignition of other circuits. This scheme is the standard for lighting. Users close a mechanism located in the class. Her it opens for to turn off the lights. Three systems like this are necessary for lighting a class. Exceptionally used for. To explain the proposed scheme we'll start from two commutated switches. One will serve to act for the user in the class and the second will activate the automatic switched off system. An imaginary vigilant displayed in the scheme, his will pulse its switch when the classroom is empty, and turns off the lights if this imaginary guard is possible, the system would be solved. Now, we have replaced the switch by an impulse relay. Our imaginary vigilant continues to act when the classroom is empty to switch off the lights. With this small change the impulse relay can only act when the lighting is switched one. If our imaginary vigilant tries to act on impulse relay with light off, this not commute. A classroom will have at least three circuits, and sometimes four, in this scheme is represented. Our imaginary vigilant must turn off three circuits. It does so through by three contacts of their contact of a separate circuits. Now I am just replace this imaginary vigilant by those elements that perform a similar function. In our case, some presence detectors connected in parallel and a timer function W will be sufficient. The presence detectors when activated voltage leave on contact L. This signal is connected to a, the timer control. When the room is empty, the presence detectors are at rest. The control signal is not output and the timer closes the relay for a few seconds. Already we can eliminate the imaginary vigilant. This scheme will be the definitive. Follow these suggestions to select the presence detectors. Advice about presence detectors 1. Place a sufficient number of detectors per classroom. At least 3 detectors, a 1 for every 25 square meters. 
a part thereof to place the detectors uniformly distributed in the classroom, paying particular attention to the area of teacher and accesses. 3. The detectors must have a rough regulation from 0 to 30 minutes and adjust between 8 and 10 minutes. For some manufacturers, differentiate between presence detectors and motion detectors. Use the first 5 use first trademarks. When positioning the detectors, always put one near the place of the professor. The rest should be uniformly distributed. When the detectors are already placed, you check that the scope covers all the classroom. If you want to include this system in a project, use this item for three or four switches in a classroom. If you prefer to use push buttons to connect lighting in the classroom, the scheme electric is to use this. And it will be budget item is.